Hello, and welcome as we introduce the Orion Papers, which is going to be your companion throughout this AWS CSA course. Let's go ahead here and enter the Orion Papers, and we can talk a little bit more about what specifically it is. So, to all Linux Academy students, welcome to Linux Academy's AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Level Prep course. As part of this course, we are introducing an exciting innovation in AWS instruction called the Orion Papers. The Orion Papers is a nonlinear, visual, interactive guide designed to enhance your learning and understanding of AWS. This guide can be used independently of the video lessons, but is meant to be supplemental and used in conjunction with the video lessons and live labs provided on linuxacademy.com. So again, thank you for joining us on this AWS adventure. Sincerely, Thomas B. Hazlitt, course author. All right, let's jump into the Orion papers and take a look at what's going on. So over the past year, we've gotten a lot of feedback from students here at linuxacademy.com. And one of the points that really stood out to us is that students wanted things to be more visual. They wanted more diagrams. They wanted things to be more interactive. So with those key points in mind, we set out to build a platform that met those needs. The result is the Orion Papers. And what you're gonna notice here is that we've replaced all PowerPoint presentations in this course. Everything is going to be presented to you in the split screen format with the Orion Papers on the right and the AWS console or the terminal on the left. And what this allows us to do is create a one-to-one -one connection between the diagrams that we have in the Orion Papers and what we are currently doing in the AWS console. So as an example of this, one of the early lessons you're going to have as part of this course is on identity and access management. So by clicking into that section, you'll see here that we have fully visualized the entire process of using IAM to manage access to various AWS resources. So during the course of the lessons on IAM, when we're actually working in IAM in the console here, and we're talking about groups, users, and roles, as we're talking specifically about each one of these individual features, we're going to be also noting on the Orion papers over here how specifically each one of these features, groups, users, API keys, policies, fit into the overall structure of IAM and AWS as a whole, and then being able to also click onto each one of these and get detailed specific information on each one of these items and each one of these features. Now this really starts to shine when we get into networking. So I can then switch over to the physical and networking layer, drill down into my AWS infrastructure all the way down to the networking level, and then even into the VPC. So when we're talking about VPC networking, and we dive into the section over here in the console, and we're talking about things like the internet gateway, subnets, network access control list, route tables. One of the major issues that a lot of students have when learning about AWS for the first time is how do all of these components fit together? Well, now what we're going to have is various diagrams over here representing different types of AWS architecture, and for each one of these components, what we'll do is build them over here in the AWS console. And as we build an internet gateway, as we add an elastic load balancer and various subnets or edit access control lists and security groups, we'll do those actually physically here in the AWS console while constantly noting on the diagram how all of these fit together and how data flows in and out of AWS from either a customer perspective or from an AWS user or backend perspective. So this is going to give you, the student, a great visual representation of how all these components fit together, how data flows in and out of AWS, with the ability to any time, if you're unsure what any of these components are, to click on them and learn about more detailed information about those specific features and services, and also, and most importantly, many of the key items that you need to know for the AWS CSA exam. So really, at the core of the Orion Papers is to create this one-to-one -one connection between the visual representation over here in the Orion Papers and what we are doing over here in the AWS console. So that as we build things over here and as we talk about services here, it's not just abstract. It's not something that you have to try to visualize in your head. We are going to have it all visualized for you here, and we've done this for every topic that we cover. So that is a brief explanation and introduction to the Orion papers and how the format of this course has been set up. Now in terms of how to specifically use the Orion papers, well that I'm going to cover in the next video. So for now, you can complete this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.